Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday. And so today, June 28th, is our last stamp along that we'll be doing um, in this series. And so starting in July, we will start a new series and I've already got it picked out. I'm gonna give you a little heads up here. So uh, Tuesday is going to be Try a Technique. So I have several techniques picked out that I'd like to share with you. And then Friday is going to be uh, choose a color or uh, color combos, I think I'm calling it, color combos. And if you have your catalog handy, turn to page um, 132 and 133. So in the catalog, you'll see this color theory wheel, okay? And then on 133, they actually explain the different uh, types of um, color combinations. And so I think we'd like to expand on that a little bit. And uh, when I was at convention this last year, they, we actually got a color wheel, which is a perk from going to going to convention. And so I would like to share with you um, <clears throat> just how to mix colors and um, I don't know, just some cute cards made with different color combinations. So that'll be our Friday videos. So today we are going to do stamp along. And um, as I told you uh, on Wednesday, and I put a video out there, these were the products that you needed to prepare. Okay. And um, if you, this is a video, so you can stamp along with me later. If you want to do a screenshot of that. Okay. And you can uh, cut your cardstock and get everything ready. So I have everything obviously ready and I'm going to go ahead and make my diorama card. And uh, this is a really cute idea. I uh, haven't made a lot of diorama cards for some reason. Um, they they mail well actually, so there'd be no reason not to make them. So today I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to show you the product that I'm going to be using and then hopefully you have your product picked out. Okay, so... First, um, I have, let's see, <clears throat> I said on here that you needed a uh, cardstock, and I said you could use white cardstock. I'm actually using um, Misty Moonlight. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to fold that in half. So you can, uh, I said score it, but if it's not scored, just fold it in half. Okay, so that's going to be your card base. And then I did cut a piece, and I didn't put this in the um, supplies, but I did cut a piece for the inside because this is dark cardstock. So I did cut a piece for the inside, and this is three and a quarter by five. So if you want to uh, do that, you can. The diorama card is actually going to be on the front, so the card inside will is where you can still write, and um, you know, you can stamp a little bit on that too. So this is the designer series paper that I chose. This is the six by six paper. Um, it's called, hold on, I have the pack here somewhere. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff here on my table, so hang with me for a second and I will find it. Well, this paper is actually from Winter Meadow. Okay, so this is Christmas paper that was carried over from the 2023 Holiday Mini. And I'm happy to say that um, it is carried over, but I'm gonna use this side because I'm obviously not making a Christmas card. This is from the six by six paper. I think it's called Thoughtful, I can't find my pack, but it's here somewhere, um, Thoughtful something. Um, and it's all the different scenes. So I was gonna use this side, but then I flipped it over and I was like, oh my goodness, I like this side better. So uh, this is a side I'm gonna use on my card. Okay, so I am going to cut this down to four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so I am gonna leave all the sky up here. So I'm just gonna cut the bottom off and I'm gonna cut this four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, which side do I wanna cut? I think I'll cut this side. Okay. So I have that ready and I just love that. It's such a, and you know what? This would actually be really easy to recreate with, um, you know, with some ink and a blending brush. Uh, not a blending brush, a uh, water painter, because you could actually do this a very easy watercolor technique. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna glue this onto here. <clears throat> Go ahead and put this on with adhesive. And see if I can line that up perfectly. No, oh, not perfectly, Travis. Did I mess that up? Yes, a little bit. Goodness, I don't want to mess it up too much. Oh, goodness. I like to line it up at the top first and then go from there. Okay, so I have a little bit of overage here. I can trim that off. I am kind of anal about that. I don't like too much of that cardstock showing. There we go. Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm going to work on the uh, diorama part of the card. So this, as I told you, is four and a quarter by seven and a half. And you're actually gonna score this six times, okay? And um, I'll show you why. So you're going to put in your paper trimmer and you're gonna score half inch on each side. So you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna score the first one at a half inch <clears throat> and then another half inch, and then another half inch. Mm, that's really a hard one to do, so let me do it this way. One and a half. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Half an inch. Let's just do it this way. One inch. And one and a half. This is going to give you um, the fold you need to make this a pop-up. And it's also going to be able to mail it. So that's why I tell you to do that so many times. Okay. So the first fold is going to be folded up. And then these two are going to be folded down. Okay. So you're going to have that kind of a fold. So up, you can use your bone folder, it's always good. And then up, I'm sorry, down, Whew. sorry, and down again. So you're gonna have this on both sides, if that makes sense. You can always change it later, so. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna cut something out of the center. And the die that I chose is from deckled rectangles and these dies are perfect for this actually so you get eight dies I think I said seven on the uh, instructions but it's eight and so the one that I chose is this one it's it's like the the fourth largest okay and the reason is it fits nicely on here like that okay so I'm going to run this through my cut and emboss I don't think I told you you're going to need your cutting emboss for this, but obviously you are. <clears throat> yeah. Get it lined up in there just right. Um, let me make sure I don't. Yeah, you want to center it. There you go. You want to center it, but you don't want to um, get it too close to the... Um, too close to the folds. So if you have a punch and you're using a punch, uh, that's fine. You know, you can use a punch. You could use uh, an oval. You could use a heart. You could use anything. But <clears throat> whatever it is, try to, I guess, center it into your, you know, your card. Okay, so this piece is extra. I'll use that later. Okay, I'm going to put my die away. Okay, now I'm going to do a little stamping. And I have some white cardstock here somewhere. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to be using hot air balloon. And this is a bundle that is carried over and it's in the catalog. And so I'm going to be stamping. I'm going to stamp a balloon in Petunia Pop. So this is a two-step stamp. And then I'm going to also use Misty Moonlight. 
And the reason I chose these colors is, oh, here, I found the DSP. Huh. Um, it's called Thoughtful Journey. And it tells you all the colors that are in it, right? So uh, the, two of the colors that are in it are Petunia Pop and Misty Moonlight. So that's why I chose those. Okay, so now I'm going to do this one and Petunia Pop. And then I'm going to do the other one in Misty Moonlight. Oh, I like it. Kinda, I kind of didn't line it up perfectly, but don't you kind of like the white actually showing through? I think it's kind of pretty that way. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out. And uh, with the die, so there's a die that will cut this out. And then there's also a die that will cut out the um, basket for the balloon. And I did that in advance. So I have this. So I don't need to cut that out. Okay. So I can keep track of it. I have a ha habit of like losing things before I can use them. They either fly off my table. They stick to my hands. They stick to my clothes. All kinds of crazy things like that. Okay. Let's see if I can line this up a little better. There we go. So the cool thing about cut and emboss is if you're right-handed, you put the, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can. If you're right-handed, you put the handle on the right side. If you're left-handed, you put the handle on the left side. So it's for both right and lefties. And also, um, it's on sale this month. So until June 30th. So you actually have three more days to get your cut and emboss 10% off. And that goes for the mini also. And the bundles. If the bundle has a die in it, it's 10% off also. Not the bundles with punches, only the bundles with dies. Hence why the cut and bosses are on sale, I think. Okay, so I have this done. Now I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the basket. I'm actually going to just put it up here on this part. Ooh, that's a lot, Travis. Go light, go light. Less is more. Don't go crazy. Okay. Glue this down. Mm. See, you don't need a lot of glue. Okay, so that's ready. Now, I have to decide what other balloon I might want to use. And I don't want to use a giant balloon. I think I just want to use something small. So I think I'm just going to use this heart balloon. And I think I'm just going to cut this out of cardstock. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm going to cut out a little basket also. So I'm going to cut out a little basket for it. I'm going to use white. I'm going to cut these out. Because I want two balloons but I don't want the same balloon, okay? So that's why I'm, I couldn't decide for sure which balloon I wanted, but then I decided if I make the balloons the same, eh, you know. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll make the big balloon, but the opening is not that big. So if I make the balloons too big, eh, they're not gonna show through the opening. So think about that. Okay, so I have this little piece. It's a little basket. And then I have this. And I can pop it out of there. There it is. Okay, oh, that's so cute. I love that little heart basket, a uh, little heart balloon. Oh, wow, that's very cute. Okay, so I think I'm ready to put these into my card. So what you want to do, I'm going to close these for now. What you want to do now is you want to think about this, right? You want to think what's going to show through when I have this on here. Okay, so where is this going to show through? And, you know, it's going to be so cute like that all right 
So I think what I'm gonna do is not put this too high. I'm gonna put this a little lower. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this one down first. I'm gonna glue this one down. And just put tiny bits of glue on here. There we go. So July 3rd, there's going to be 40 new online exclusives. Yeah, that's a lot. Put this right here. And um, we can pre-order them now as demonstrators for the month of, through the month of June, but you can't get them until, if you're not a demonstrator, you can't get them until July 3rd. But, oh, I'm telling you, there are some really cute new products. So you need to get on the online exclusives and check those out. Okay, I'm going to stick this underneath here. So that's the basket. Let's see, does the basket? Yeah, I think the basket goes like that. Not a hot air balloon person. I mean, I am, but I'm not like a real expert. Okay, so I have to, I'm popping this one up. Put too many of these on this, but that's okay. Better too many than not enough. Oh, that's so cute. So see, it looks like it's up in the sky. All right, now it's time to make the diorama part. So I have this folded right there on the one half inch and then this side, okay? So you are gonna put adhesive on that half inch side. And you are going to line it up right here on the edge. Okay, and then you're gonna fold this back. So you have those extra folds. And then you're going to fold this like this. And then you're gonna line this one up. So hopefully it's gonna lay flat. You wanna make sure. Ooh, it's gonna be close. I might have to trim that off a little. No, I don't think I do. Okay, so now when you send it, it's gonna go like that. But then when they pop, when it pops up, it's actually gonna pop up like this. So your diorama is actually an inch and gives you more of a diorama than just a half inch. And it lays flat when you wanna mail it. Okay, so if you want to mail it, if you don't want to mail it, just pop it up like this and hand it to them. So cute. Okay, now I love that you're kind of looking in there and you're looking at the sky and you kind of see down below. I really, really think that DSP is perfect. Okay, now I am going to stamp a little something for the front. I have my little scratch paper here, my little scraps. And I think I need like, maybe I need a little bigger than that. I think I need this size. So I save all these pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp Wish Big. And I'm gonna stamp it in Petunia Pop ink. Oh my gosh, if I can open it. There we go. I promise I don't have arthritis in my hands. I don't know why I can open that. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this on here. Okay, now I'm going to trim this. I'm going to do a little fishtail. Okay, and then I'm going to put um, a, I'm going to put adhesive just at the bottom. Because I want it to go down here and I want the top part to hang over but I don't want it to be sticky on, on the inside okay so now for the inside of my card I'm gonna stamp something I have this white piece 
And I had this cute stamp from the set that says, Up, Up, and Away. Hooray, it's your birthday. Okay. So I'm trying to think. Do I want to... Yeah. I think I'm going to stamp this in Petunia Pop also. And I'm trying to think what the best way to do this. One. Two. Three. Ooh, didn't show that much. Hang on a second. Let me stamp this off a couple times. Let's see if I can line that up again. So it's third generation. They call that third generation. So first, second, third generation. All right. Now, do I need to put a little balloon on there? I could stamp. So I never cleaned these. I wonder if there's any ink left on them. Ooh, there was a little bit. Not much. Okay. I'm going to stamp this off. And I'm just going to stamp this right here. Then I'm going to do this one in Misty Moonlight. I'm just winging this, guys. I had no plan here. I had no plan. Cute. So I have room to sign it down here, write a little something. All right. Okay, so we're going to put that on the inside of our card. And as I said, this is three and, a, three, and three fourths by five. So it's going to give you a nice border. I like that nice wide border on the inside of my card. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Now you could uh, fancy this up a little bit if you wanted to add some Link of Stella or whatever you want to do. But <clears throat> there's our diorama card. Folds down. Okay, so you can mail it. Pops up. And, you know, your creativeness is the, is the limit. So if you... I'm sure there's a few of you out there that are going to go crazy with this idea. And I love that. So thanks for watching today. I will see you on Tuesday with our new Try a Technique video. So my name is Travis Bossler, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching today and have a great weekend. Bye.